Thank you for tuning in, Woodsy here, and today we're gonna to be looking at the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium Paisley. Now, of course, this was a pair that when you see it online, you think, wow, that is fantastic. It is what makes SB Dunks great to have such a leery and intricate design. But I feel like there's been so many releases over the last few months that a few pairs um, overshadowed this pair for me. And I wasn't as excited as I should have been. But that was also because I thought I wasn't going to be able to hit on a raffle. I did hit on a raffle and I'm very happy that I managed to get these for retail because in hand they are absolutely fantastic. But of course, let's start off with a box. So it comes in a Nike SB purple box. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium Cacao Wow Summit White. UK 9.5, US 10.5. You also comes, it also comes with brown laces and as spare laces go, I think these are quite nice, go with the shoe really well, but I just love the pop of the stock white laces. Going around the shoe, uh, let's talk about the details and then I'll talk about what I like about the shoe. So, gum bottom, then you have that really bright contrasting pink shield that obviously goes well with the pink parts in the paisley. Up top, it is all this paisley design, but you have a few different materials, including this sort of leather or faux leather piping around all the edges, which I do think gives it that really nice premium feel. But I do wonder how it will uh, age because I feel like this is going to scuff and uh, chip really easily. And obviously, if you want to keep this pristine, I don't know how well that's going to look. If you're skating it, doesn't really matter. It's going to just work well as an extra added barrier. Um, a defense against that grip tape, but yeah, I don't know how it's going to work longevity wise uh, on this pair. When it comes to the material around the mud guard of the toe box and the cuff, and then on the eyelets, it is almost like this sort of um, nylon feel to it, and that is all removable to uh, show a uh, white suede underneath um, and when I'd seen images of some of this being removed I thought it looked absolutely horrible and I just wondered why you would remove all this really nice paisley print but on a recent image which I should attach and I'll mention them down below uh, where they've removed all of the, the removable material and it has loads of that white suede around and it's like a nice balance it actually looks quite nice I don't think I'm going to be doing it to my pair but I actually don't mind it, do not mind it at all. On the toe box, you've had what you have got on quite a lot of dunks recently where it's this sort of pliable um, canvasy material, it has a nice feel to it and I feel like it's quite good structurally and it, I don't know, how, it shouldn't crease too madly but I don't know how you would iron out creases on that, especially when you have this sort of faux leather when you want to use an iron or something like that, if you like it pristine that is really cool how they've put the print on that material and it's the same material behind the swoosh again it's really cool how they've managed to print that on and the detail that really made it on these is they've got that print all over the front of that tongue again it's really nice to see because you don't often get really mad detailing on recent tongues like that it's always you have it around the side panels and not on the tongue you've got leather on the tongue tag to add to that premium feel again brown piping, brown at the back of the tongue, brown on the uh, sock liner and insole, but you have a pink text to contrast on that insole. Leather again on the um, heel tab and that contrasting white stitching. Bright white swooshes in this quite firm, plasticky feeling tumbled leather. And yeah, and then again you'll hit with those nice bright white laces. I think this is a really nice shoe, and even though it is leery as, it isn't. When it's on feet, it doesn't look as sort of bright and sort of out there as you think. And I think that these look really good with a light blue denim. And again, just quickly jumping in with the Paisley pair, you did also have some sort of apparel or clothing with it. Nike, Nike SB did two t-shirts. They might have done more, but that's what stood out when I was looking um, when these released. They had like a black and white Paisley print and then a more colorful Paisley print. 
for me personally, I wasn't that keen on them. It's really cool that they did that with this release and it's also cool if you are sort of like a collect collecting the apparel that goes with these releases. Uh, I've gone through my mod stage, I wasn't that keen on it, but yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, let's go back to him. It was what I was gonna pick to wear with these because I think that the light blue denims go with most dunks in all fairness, but I've seen a lot of images with people wearing the baggy light blue denims with these and I have to agree, I think it looks fantastic. I'm pretty sure I've done quite a few fits with these. I've obviously done the lace swaps in the on feet, but yeah, all round, really cool, um, really cool dunk. Um, it's nice when they have so much uh, to it, but they've blended it really well. And again, I don't think the resale is crazy on these, but yeah. Tell me what you think. Did you manage to pick these up? Which laces do you prefer? And yeah, let's go to the on feet. Let's wig you out.